Hi there, I hope you're doing super well wherever you are. And if you're not doing super well wherever you are, I want you to listen to this video for a moment. Or at least if you know people that you're not too sure how they're feeling, have a listen to this video. I want you to reflect that, that we can often see stress and anxiety as being maybe stereotyped and how it looks. It can often seem that we see images of people huddled in dark corners on their own uh, in a very darkened rooms or darkened places and it's all very intense or they're crying or is upset. It's very visual. It's very easy to spot what you may classify. If you think of someone being depressed, you might have a very clear idea of what it looks like. You may even have a clear idea of what it feels like as well but you get a sense of it very easily. And that can be true. But what I'm doing in this video I want to share with you is something else. It's something else is that we need to also recognize that stress and anxiety doesn't show itself as obvious as that. We don't get clear signs and signals as being in a darkened room and crying and being upset. Sometimes anxiety and stress are within some people are living with it on a far re more regular basis than we're aware of. Sometimes their behavior is actually the response to the stress, anxiety they're feeling. It never always appears in the way we classically think it is. It comes in a variety of ways, ones which are unseen. And I only share this just to raise our awareness that when we notice friends or family or people in our community who are maybe behaving in a uh, unusual or odd way, you can think a number of things, but don't disregard that, that, that they may be suffering from some anxiety, some fear, some stress, some upset in their life. And just because it's not as signaled as classically as we may think, depression can still rise its head and display itself in different ways. If we notice someone's doing something which is maybe out of character, we can take the time to find out what's going on, ask a couple of questions, check in on them. Depression, sadness and upset don't show themselves in that often that classical way we think they can do. It can arrive in different forms. Often it's deeply hidden and often most times it is. So when people, maybe loved ones, you're noticing a shift in their behavior, finding out what's going for them, taking the time to understand that maybe things aren't going as well as it would appear from the outside. If anything to this video, I hope it gives you an understanding that either other people, for loved ones or family, or even for yourself, when you feel that, that you're not at your best, if you're feeling more tired than usual, maybe there's something you need to address here, maybe something you need to engage with and talk about, a family, friend, a member, or, a, or someone you feel you can trust. And on the other side of that, if you know people who appear to be okay one day, but then seem to be a little less themselves in some form but are still smiling but you still have something's wrong take the time to find out what's going on for them if you can because you never know what people are keeping inside until you go and ask them and sometimes it isn't as obvious as i've described in that classic sense of depression or, or stress depression forms itself in a variety of different ways in a variety of instances and comes and in, displays itself in a variety of behaviors we need to be opening up our eyes to the idea that that can exist. So take from this video what you can, what you will, and I hope you get some value from it. So wherever you are, take care of yourself. <laughs>